the chapter we are discussing now is major landforms of the earth we know that the landforms we see now is not always the same all the time it keeps on changing and it keeps on changing the landforms result it is a result the landforms different type of landforms whatever we can see it is not equal everywhere wherever we go we can see a different type of landforms they are the result of majorly two processes they are internal process and external process internal process is either upliftment or sinking what is upliftment Uplif upliftment means when for some reason the part of a landform that goes up when you are visiting a place on the plateaus or in the mountains you will feel that the place is much higher than the plains you are leaving so this is called as upliftment when a part of the landform that is lifted uplifted it is due to some of the internal process we will discuss about next is sinking the moment one part is uplifted the very next part of the landform that will be sinking down that is it will go down that is known as sinking this upliftment and sinking both are caused by internal process the other reason for landform is external process external process means erosion that is we can see two type of external process that is changing the landform they are erosion and deposition what is erosion erosion is that continue as wearing out the land mass due to maybe wind due to maybe water bodies when continuous wearing out of the landform will happen that we call it as erosion as soil erosion if there is no trees at all then due to air due to water we can see the part of soil that move from one place to another causing erosion now the part is moving out they are depositing in one place place that is which is known as deposition that also is changing the landform the face of the land at a particular place broadly uh, we can now due to this reason what type of the landforms we find they are depending on the elevation and slope we can see majorly three types of landform they are mountains they are plateaus and we have plains so wherever you go whether it will be part of a mountain it will be part of a plateau or a part of a plain the place in hyderabad where we live we can see it is the part of deccan plateau one of the oldest plateau of the world deccan plateau we are living in a plateau region people those who are living in up kanpur or in the northern side of india west bengal bihar they are living in plains and the people those who are living in the mountainous region shimla kulu manali here are arunachal pradesh these all are under the mountains himalayan mountain regions they are living there so mostly depending on the elevation how high it is and the slope how it is now joining to the other place depending on elevation and slope we can divide the landforms into these three part which are mountains plateaus and plain now if we think about let us come to mountain we have one mountain that is standing as a security guard for india that is himalayan mountain we have another mountain in the middle uh, part of india that is dividing we can say almost dividing india into north india and south india that is aravalli mountain we have western ghat and eastern ghat mountains so these all mountains if we see them that their characteristics are different what are they how are they mountains are of majorly three types one three types they are fold mountain they block mountain or volcanic mountain what is fold mountain 
Suppose you have a plain paper and you are pushing it in between. What will happen? The middle part of the paper will come up. So, if it is a plain surface and it has, press, has pressure from both the side, then as a result the middle part will be upliftet like that. I told you the internal process and upliftment, we can see upliftment in the formation of fold mountain. The major, the middle part of will be uplifted and that actually is making the fold mountain. The example of fold mountain we can say that uh, Mount Everest, Himalaya, uh, then Aravalli Alps, these all are the examples of fold mountain and all of these mountains is a result of the internal process that is upliftment. Fold mountains are also divided into two, two uh, types of fold mountains we can see one is old fold mountains and another one is new fold mountains. Old fold mountain those who were uh, they, they were made is long back, their age is, uh, they are really old and they stop growing. As an old person, they stop growing like that. The old for my mountains also, they stop growing, they stop their growth rather. Now they are facing the external process of erosion. They are losing their height. They are called as old fall mountain. We have one old fall mountain in India. Aravalli mountain is an example of old fold mountain. Next we are coming to new fold mountain. The fold mountains are they, they formed like this for this, this way this internal process and even now every year their height is growing. They are new fold mountain. Example of new fold mountain is Himalayas. Every year at least an inch it is growing. So, it is known as new fall mountain. Coming next to the block mountain as the opposite, the other way I told you the upliftment, the internal process upliftment is causing the formation of fold mountain. The opposite way the sinking down upliftment and sinking both we can see in the making of block mountain. We can see in a place when a part of the uh, the plane is come down, is sinking down and the another part is uplifted, we can see the block mountain which is known as host and graben, host area and graben areas. So, the upliftment and sinking of both we can see is working in the formation of block mountain. Black forest in, in Germany is an example of uh, um, block mountain. Even in India in the Satpura range, Satpura is an example of block mountain where we can, ex we can see the process, both the process of upliftment and sinking, sinking down of a place and upliftment of a place that is known as the or both these internal process we can see in the formation of block mountain. Next is coming to volcanic mountain. We all know that the center of earth is still very hot and it is boiling and as a result in the volcanoes they have many channels. They also formed like volcanic mountain but they have many channels which are the channels to come out the lava and magma that is depositing as a lava center magma chamber in the earth and then using these channels magma and lava they are coming out on the earth surface. This is known as volcanic mountain. This is known as volcanic mountain. The, we have a uh, the example of volcanic mountain we can say Kilimanjaro, we can say uh, Fujiyama in Japan, we have only one in Nicobar Island uh, that is also a sleeping a dormant uh, volcanic mountain. Volcanic mountain we can find of two type, one is active that means till now even now 
the volcanoes, the magmas and lavas, they are popping out from them most often. Some few we have, they are sleeping dormant, they are, uh, they have a possibility to, uh, for uh, these magmas coming out in a form of lava and others, they are extinct, they are no more surviving, they are just like the um, fall mountain existing but anyway, the example of Vesuvius in Italy, we cannot say that maybe sometimes even this uh, extinct uh, those who are already dead we can claim that the dead volcanoes they can also erupt but the chances are really really very less we are coming to plateaus then uh, if you consider the elevation and slope then the plateaus are situated in the next position than the mountains plateaus are the last stretches of flat land that are generally not not more than 200 meter above the mean sea level what is mean sea level the sea level is always a fixed thing it is uh, maybe sometimes it is uh, it, it is almost like a same level we considered and from the sea level how the height is based on the height we consider them uh, as a mountain the height for the mountains it can be 4000 to 6000 meter whereas for the plateaus we can we found them that is 200 meter height for the plateaus but it is flat mountains we can see this conical peaks but in plateaus it is a flat land but the height the elevation is more so we call them plateaus plateaus are generally very much enriched with minerals and due to uh, more, many of the plateaus are for their, due to their formation they also helpful they are also helpful for agriculture also agricultural purpose also then we can come to the next one that is the plain uh, plain is the land is a plain land by the name we can see that the uh, when it is uh, the plains they are of 200 meter uh, nearby the sea level uh, mean sea level we can see this uh, plateau uh, plateaus whereas it is much higher than the plain in is more than 4000 meter where the plains are coming to the 200 meter in that height 